In this video, we bring you East Coast Swing Dance Moves for Intermediate East Coast Swing. What's up, gang? Brian B. And Miss Megan. We are from a bunch of different places. We have a bunch of different websites to support social dancers. Um, so for you guys watching this video, are likely to like socialdanceonline.com. That's socialdanceonline.com. So after the video, or the link in the description below, you can head on over there. Here's what's gonna go on. We are gonna bring you a set of basic moves and show you how we're gonna build some intermediate patterns on that. So we're gonna end up with some fun stuff. So what are we gonna work off of? We're actually gonna work off of, if we're doing a basic, right? We're gonna work off of an inside turn followed by an outside turn, right? So what's gonna happen? Let's actually go, we'll go, we'll go this side, this side. So leaders, we're gonna lead a basic. We're gonna assume you know the basic at this point. We have a triple, triple rock step. We're gonna get to an away position or a throw out position, triple, triple and rock step. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of a whirlpool action to an inside spin. Don't worry, we're gonna get to all this. We're gonna tuck for an outside turn with a free spin. Then we're gonna get to some toe heel swivels or toe touch swivels and rock step. So that's what we're gonna get through, right? So I'm gonna assume you know your basics. If not, look up basic East Coast swing uh, by just look up basic East Coast Swing, we'll get the basics. But let's assume we get to an outside uh, position, triple, triple rock step. So from here, and we're gonna cover this in detail, but the gist of it, I'm gonna go around the world to that position. So let's cover the leader's footwork for that. So if I'm on this side, I'm putting Miss Megan on that side. So we're gonna always do leader's footwork, then uh, follower's footwork. This video is coming out during our lockdown, during the coronavirus, so we're shooting this live on YouTube and Facebook. So our, both of our mics are tied up to go to both faces. So I'm gonna narrate both parts for this particular video. So leaders, when we're outside, we're gonna rock step. Now we're gonna cut around the table for a side triple around the corner, triple step. Now we're gonna go back together forward, back together forward. So let's do that a couple times. Actually, let's do this leaders. Let's line up this way. We're we'll leaving Miss Megan out of it for a second. I've taught this a lot. This is the easiest way to teach it. Let's do the footwork along a straight line. So leaders, we start with a rock step. We're gonna triple to my left for a side triple. Then we're gonna go back together forward, back together forward, and then we're gonna rock away. Let's do that two more times, leaders. Starting with a rock step, we have rock, step. We go side triple, back together forward, and rock away. Last time for the leaders. We have a rock, step, side triple, back together, forward, and rock away. Cool beans? Now Miss Megan, she's gonna go have to go around the world. Can we go from that side? There you go. So Miss Megan's gonna rock back, rock, step. She's gonna do a forward triple, forward triple. Now she's gonna do a side triple that's curving, side triple, and rock, step. Let's do that two more times for the follower with the rock step first a rock step, a forward triple around the corner and rock step. Here's a cool way to teach this. Hang on, look pretty, Miss Megan. Here's what's going on. I love doing this this way. So if we're partnered up, right? If we were partnered up, we'd have this frame, right? So to understand how the footwork rolls around, we're gonna do it from either side of this table. You're not gonna be able to see Megan's footwork. Don't worry, we'll clear that up in a second. So we start from the rock step, rock step. Now I do my side triple like we practiced, but I wanna keep my chest facing the table, side triple. Now I do my back together forward, back together forward, and now as I rock to the side, rock step. Let's do that again from this side. Then we'll flip around, you can see Megan's feet a little better. We have our rock step, Rock, step, side triple for me, side triple, back together forward, back together forward, and rock away. And if you notice, the whole time our chest, until this opening up for Megan, my chest is facing through the common center or this table to Miss Megan. Let's talk about Megan's footwork. So she's rock stepping back, rock, step. She's doing a forward triple, but she's keeping her chest towards the table, triple, step. Now the side triple is easy for her to keep her chest towards the table. Cool, last time we have a rock step. She goes a forward triple, side triple, and rock, step, and she spins like a freak and throws the table away. So. If we do this real easy, let's pick this up in closed position and start with our rock step. So if you imagine, here's our table, right? The common center and space between us. If we do our rock step 
as I start moving around the treble, side trip, pull. Eventually, at some point, I'll be able to pick up our back, side together, forward, and rock away. Let's do that one more time, then we'll talk about the details. So at this point, we're not super closed yet. Rock, step. I side triple, side triple, behind and forward, and rock, step. Now, what makes this happen? Couple basic principles that hopefully you already know, but we'll reinforce them here. We always have a window in partner dancing. The window is over my partner's right shoulder, so we call this dancing with the force or using the force. Doesn't matter where I go, Megan's gonna stay in that window, right? So if we're well trained and well practiced, that alone will cause us to be in the right positions as we go through the move. Does that make sense? So even just to demonstrate, I'm not gonna tell Megan what I'm doing or what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna use my body and window and you can see that the gist of it works. If we, if we know our footwork in general, and I understand, or she understands to stay in my window, and I understand where to move my body, moves like this become relatively easy. So again, to practice, we have our closed grip. We go rock, step. I'm not gonna reach too early. I'm gonna go around the table, triple step, behind side forward. Now at this point, leaders, I have to be quick to change this hand underneath to a swing grip, to lead my rock away and the inside turn. And I love this move social dance wise. It's pretty high percentage for something that's pretty cool. Cool, let's do it from this side. And then we'll talk about the turn. So we have our, oh sorry, well, let's start with a hand. A rock step, triple step, triple step, a rock step, inside turn, triple and rock. So if any of that's confusing, you can rewind. Not if you're watching live on YouTube or Facebook, but uh, you can use the rewind button in the bottom right hand corner. You can even play that in slow motion, which by the way, shout out Social Dance Online also has that feature. If you are a member, you can go there in your email address, get a free membership to the site and test out a bunch of different stuff. We have a cool slow-mo feature. We have a comments feature. We have a favorites feature so you can save your favorite videos that you're learning in your own special little favorites place. Anyways, commercial over. When we get ready for this outside turn, right? We're rocking away rock step we're going to lead an inside turn and triple so here's what i want you to practice we call this baby steps we don't worry about the footwork we just worry about the baby steps so leaders take this hand i'm gonna go this way to the camera so everyone can see me take this hand leaders start to look at your wrist watch and take this over her head over her head just baby steps for the followers right so we take this and we just pull it between our heads baby steps baby steps baby steps that's the path of the hand. Now, from the rock step, let's actually do leaders footwork first, then followers. So leaders, we're rocking away because we've had all this energy around the corner, right? We've done all of this energy around the corner. We wanna rock away to let Megan get set up for the turn. So this is my rock step. From here, I triple on the spot, triple step. Now I go find my partner with a triple step. Let's do that one more time. Rocking away to the diagonal, we have rock, step, triple in place, triple in place. That's our turn. Now I go get her with my triple step and rock step. So let's have Megan do the turn from this side. She's going to rock step, rock stop here. If you notice, she is what we call prepped or prepared for the turn. Her left side is back, or her left side is forward, so the right side is back. Now she has one and a half turns on a triple step, then she has a basic triple and rock. Cool, let's do that again, slow-mo. So she's gonna rock step, rock step. From here, at the beginning of the triple, she's gonna close her feet for trip, she's gonna step again for pull, and she's gonna step back for step, and then she's gonna do a basic and a rock. Let's do it one more time with numbers, and then we'll do it together. So, from the rock step, rock step. So if she's turning on one and two, she's stepping her right foot for one, re-stepping and back for two, and then a triple step and a rock step. Are we ready? So we've got that good underhand swing grip, right? My frame is gonna allow her to open up and prep on the rock step. We have rock freeze here. Now I pull the hand between our heads, triple step. Now I go get my partner with a rock step. Cool, let's do it one more time. So we have a rock step, triple step, triple step and rock step. So if we combined both moves, 
from the open position, we have a rock step. We go around the table, behind side, forward, and rock. Inside turn, triple, and rock. Last time from this side, then we're going to go on to our final two moves. So we're in open position. I can't get closed. We're going to use the tabletop or the, the, the washing machine or the whirlpool. Ready, and a rock step. Side triple, and with a rock and an inside turn, triple step, and rock step. So again, if that's too fast, and you're watching this on YouTube later after the live feed, you can rewind and catch it again. Second part, after we do this turn, I'm gonna lead a basic outside turn with two hands to get to my right hand, to lead an inside turn, and then another basic. So what's gonna go on there? After we're finishing this turn, rock step, slow motion, trip, step. I'm going to pick up her back, slide this hand down as we finish our triple. So I have my two hands for my next pattern. So let's practice that part. So we have rock, step, inside, turn. I trail her arm, triple step, rock, step. So from here, we have a basic outside turn. So if I didn't have this hand, it would just be a basic outside turn, which if you're watching this video, probably pretty easy basic stuff. But because I have two hands, I'm gonna go rock, step. I bring both hands up, triple. Now here's the key here, I'm gonna get close to the camera. Megan's fingers are generally to the sky. As the follower, your fingers are going to the sky. When the leader leads your hands up, basically fingers to the sky. Now my fingers are going the direction she's turning, right? If I needed her to go this way, my fingers would go that way. But that's the set position of my fingers. So as I rock, step, rock, step, triple freeze there. So my fingers are telling Miss Megan which way to go. Now I don't need my left hand, I take the right hand over and rock step. Cool? Last time from two hands, then we'll see if we have any questions on our live feed. We go rock step, two hands here, the right hand over and rock step. Do we have any questions on our live feed? No. Cool beans. So from here leaders, as we go two hands over, triple, triple on this rock step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock back and I'm gonna open this up. So the connection is still tight through our arms. Our elbows are still close. We're not flying this up. We're not letting the tension out of our elbows. We still have a connection point, elbows back. So what happens is as I rock and step, I'm feeding this hand forward to allow Miss Megan to be prepped so I can free spin and rock. If I did it from this side, We've got that connection. As we rock step, rock, and on the step, I actually feel like the attack is a word I use, but I want to be careful. I don't want to attack with that hand, but we go rock step, where I've prepped her forward. Now I retract my fingers for an inside turn, triple, and rock. So let's do leader's footwork from this side. Right? I'll spin Miss Megan, but leader's focus on my footwork. I go rock step, basic in place. Triple step, now I have to go find her to get back in my window. Triple and rock. Let's do it one more time, then we'll do the followers part. So leaders, we go rock, step, lead the turn with my fingers, triple in place, triple in place, go get my partner and rock, step. Cool, I'll narrate Miss Megan's footwork. So she's rock stepping, rock, step. Now she's prepped to turn, left side ahead. She has the same one and a half spins for triple step and a basic and a rock. It's the same turn for the follower that we just did. Same footwork that we just used for that turn. Ready and a rock, step, inside turn and triple and rock. So let's do that together from the open up on this side. So we're starting with a rock step. We have rock, step, inside turn. I get my partner and rock, step. So if we did it again, where we go from? Hmm. Let's go from here. On this side, so watch one time, we have rock, triple, I go over, rock, step, inside, turn, triple. So leaders, what I have to do, as I do two hands up, triple step. Now, this is what we call a slot. Megan's in this slot. On my next triple, I have to go across the slot just as Megan gets out of the way to open up to do my spin and go get her. Cool? So if I'm doing it from this side, two hands, Rock, step, triple. Right at this moment, I have to go across the slot, feed the hand forward, free spin, triple, 
and rock. Cool, let's do it from the other side so you get another view. Starting with a rock, two hands over, rock, step. Two hands up, I go across the slot, rock, step, free spin, triple, and rock. So let's do the whole thing together, starting from our very, 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 very basic. A basic in place first, basic in place, basic in place. I take her out, take her out, tabletop, triple step, triple step. I open up, inside turn, I trail the hand, two hands over the head, triple, rock, step, free spin, triple, and rock. Last time from this side, different view. Basic, basic, I let her out, triple step, triple step. I change the hand around the table, triple, rock to the side, lead the turn. Two hands here, my fingers, the direction she turns across the slot, rock, step, triple, triple, and rock, step. We have one move, how are we doing? Any questions? Facebook or YouTube. Cool Beans, the last move. We can do it right after this or we can do it right off the of basic, but from this position, when I have two hands, I'm gonna rock step, right? During the rock step, I wanna do rock and change to this grip. So if you can see, I'm gonna take the fingers up. So Megan goes fingers to the sky, I re-grip. That's gonna happen quick on rock step. That's my grip. So as we do this rock step, rock and grip. Now from here we go toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross, and I lead my rock step. So let's practice that one more time. Just the hands where we go flip. Cool, if we do it with a rock step, a rock and flip, boom and toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross. Let's do the toe, heel, cross. Um, let's put us both back to the camera. So leaders, you can follow me. Followers, you can follow Miss Megan. We're starting left foot leaders, right foot followers with the rock step. So leaders, we have our rock step, rock step. We both go toe, we both go heel, and we both step slightly across. Then we do it again, right foot, toe, heel, Cross, then we finish with a rock step, rock step. So we do that again. Left foot leaders, right foot followers, we have a rock step, a toe, a heel, a cross, a toe, heel, cross. Now let's cover one advanced part that if this happens, it's great. And it's the swivel of the standing foot. Don't I sound fancy? The swivel of the standing foot. What I mean by that is, as I go rock step, if my right foot can swivel on the toe, then it swivels back the other direction on the heel, and then it swivels one more time on the cross. And I swivel toe, swivel, heel, swivel, cross, swivel toe, heel, cross. So cultivating that ability makes this look cool. It is not 100% necessary, but it's a good skill to have. So if we did this as a partner, let's leave the rock step out of it, make it easy. Just start from two hand grip, right? We're gonna do our toe. So on the toe, you notice, I'm leading Megan in, but do you notice you don't see it on the camera? You're not seeing a lot going on in the hands. It's as if there was a wall between us. There's a little pressure that she feels. So you can see her body reacts, right? But there's not a lot of movement in the hands. There's not a lot of movement. The more movement in the hands, it's like having a bad connection through the phone, right? So it's difficult to hear the person on the other side. So a little pressure change. You can see already the pressure change a toe, a heel, a cross, a toe, a heel, a cross, toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross. And right here, she gets a little squeeze, rock, step, we can take her out, underarm turn, whatever else you want. Cool? So if we take that from the previous move, when she's gone for the spin, I pick up both hands, rock, step, a toe, a heel, a cross, a toe, a heel, a cross, a rock, step, off she goes triple and rock. Cool? So that gives you, what do we have? We have our whirlpool washing machine. I call it the tabletop because I always teach that thing going around a table. We have finishing with an inside turn. We have two hands over the head for the follower, a free spin for the follower to our toe heel swivels. Let's do the whole thing from the top and we're out. So a basic to get her out to open position. We do our whirlpool around the corner, the inside turn, Two hands here, over her head, triple, triple, a free spin, I go get her, triple and rock. A toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross, a rock, step, take her out with whatever you want and rock. One last time from this side. 
If you're bored, you can jump in the comments section below and grab one of those helpful links. You can go to socialdanceonline.com and check out our free membership there. But here's the final bit of your video. Basic, basic to open position around and rock over the head. Two hands here, rock, step, set the fingers, cross the slot and free spin. Go get your partner, change the hands, a rock, step, toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, cross, rock, step, triple, triple, and rock. My name is Brian B, Miss Megan. We've got a question, love it. It is a back spot turn, 100%. Why is it called a back spot turn? Haven't the slightest bit. I've danced 20 some odd years. I don't even know why it's a back spot turn. Because you're going backwards on the spot. Backwards hey. on the spot from the leader's perspective, yeah. So a good tip for any of these back spot turns, anytime we're rotating, practice. That's why I like the table. I want to practice that this is round, right? We have a round frame to us. And so as we're going around, we don't disturb that frame. Here's what's common, and this is why I like the table, and over the years I came up with that table. Let me pull that back in. Here's what's common, right? If we go rock, step, there's all this space in front of me and there's all this space in front of Megan. So it's easy to ignore the common center and just go into that space. Triple step. How's that working for our partnership? How are we gonna partner at this point? Even if the table wasn't there, you stay where you are, Miss Megan. You can see we're pretty well offset. We are not at all in any kind of frame, right? So this is great for any kind of spot turn, uh, cha-cha, rumba, East Coast swing, to think about the common center. And this gives me a path to follow with my chest and my center. Rock, step. I cut around the corner, triple step. So it's a side triple, but I'm curving. Megan has a forward triple, but she's curving. Now I have to go back together forward back together forward. Now as I rock away, if I rock over here, there's plenty of room, but my partner's over there, so I have to rock and be able to face my partner, and then we come around, and even then there's no table there. I go with her and rock. So there's your description of a back spot turn. I love the table. Any other questions? Beautiful, great questions. Thanks guys for hanging out with us on the live feed. Um, check out the website if you're one of the West Coast Swing dancers. Obviously, westcoastswingonline.com is your number one resource. In the description below right now, we have tons of links. We have an ebook for West Coast Swing dancers. If you've never been exposed to West Coast Swing, go onto the website. You can get the free videos and beginner videos and get started. And if you have any questions, um, I'll give you my email address. Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at westcoastswingonline.com. Don't spam me. Thanks, Ms. Megan, and we'll see you again soon.